In this section, we'll talk about the osmoregulatory role of kidney. We know that our kidneys perform two main functions. One is elimination of nitrogenous waste and second is osmoregulation. So here we are talking of osmoregulatory role that is done by the kidneys. Osmoregulatory role of kidney. And before we take up how the kidney help in or kidneys help in this osmoregulation, we need to know what exactly is osmolarity. Osmolarity, which has to be osmolarity, which has to be maintained or regulated. Osmolarity in simple words means solute concentration in one liter of solution or if we give this description slightly in detail or in specific terms then that means the number of moles of solute in one liter of solution. So, in simple uh, language, what exactly is osmolarity? How much solute is there? What is the solute concentration in one liter of solution? And if we give it a specific term, then it is the number of moles of solute which are present in one liter of solution. So, this is what is osmolarity. Now, the unit in which we explain this is written as milli osmol per liter. In short, it is written as milli, uh, m for milli and osmol per liter. So, this is how it can be written or per liter can be written like this also. So, these are the units or the expressions in which we talk about the osmolarity. Now, there are certain organisms which are capable of maintaining this concentration in their body fluid irrespective of the surrounding. They are known as osmoregulators. Osmoregulators. What are osmoregulators? These are those animals who are able to maintain their osmolarity that is osmolarity of the body fluid irrespective of the osmolarity of the surrounding medium. And those who cannot maintain it or in other words, they change their osmolarity according to the surrounding medium. They are known as osmoconformers. So these are the two categories. What are osmoregulators? They maintain the osmolarity of their body fluid irrespective of surrounding. Of the surrounding. So, if surrounding is more concentrated, less concentrated, their osmolarity or their body fluids osmolarity is not going to change. Whereas, they change the osmolarity of their body fluids according to surrounding. The osmolarity of body fluids change according to the surrounding. If surrounding has more solute concentration, their body fluid would increase that solute concentration so it becomes more concentrated. If the outer medium is less concentrated, they would lose those solute and their body fluid will become less concentrated. We'll see that a little later. But Regulators and conformers, those who can maintain the concentration, they are regulators 
and those in whom the concentration of body fluids changes that is osmoconformers. One more point which we can write here is they have narrow range of osmolarity. That means there is variation in the concentration but that range is very very small. So they have a na narrow range. Whereas the osmoconformers have a wide range of osmolarity. So their os concentration in the body fluids can change to a very less concentration to a very high concentration. So the range is very very wide. Examples of the organisms or the animals which are osmoregulators include all vertebrates except hagfish. That means this hagfish is osmoconformer. All vertebrates. Then it also includes most of fresh water invertebrates and the osmoconformers the examples are all marine invertebrates and some of fresh water invertebrates and some fresh water in vertebrates and amongst vertebrates only the hagfish and hagfish which is amongst the vertebrates. So these are the organisms which are either osmoregulators or osmoconformers. Now we have understood what exactly is this osmoregularity. These organisms will maintain the concentration of solute in their body fluid irrespective of which medium they are in, whether they are in fresh water or not. Osmoconformers, their concentration of the body fluid, basically the solute concentration changes according to the surrounding medium, whether they are in fresh water or marine, the concentration of the fluids changes or the solute concentration changes. Now, kidneys play an important role in osmoregulation. We are osmoregulators. Irrespective of what is the media, all vertebrates, they are able to maintain the osmolarity. And this is what we want to study now, that how kidneys help in osmoregulation. Now, there are two situations where the kidneys have to perform this function. Situation one is if the fluid intake is more, if somebody takes too much of water in, then how is this concentration would be maintained? And second situation is when the fluid intake is less, then how the regulatory thing is done. So we will talk about osmoregulation by kidney in both these situations.